Hey dear fellow creators, my name is Zahid, I'm a 3D artist and today I'm excited to show you guys 3D Space Mouse from 3D Connections. I've been using it for the last couple of weeks to see if it could speed up my workflow in Cinema 4D. By the way, as a full disclosure, 3D Connections have sent me this free sample to test it out in Cinema 4D. So yeah, let's dive in. Uh, before diving directly into Cinema 4D, just wanted to show some physical features of the Space Mouse. So right out of the box, this is what you get. This is the compact space mouse. On the top you can see the controller cap which has 6 degrees of freedom sensor. Also it has two customizable keys to which you can assign any shortcut in your software. Let's have a quick demo of how this mouse works. When you will install the driver from their side, you can see this input trainer in the software which will get you up and running with the space mouse. You can move the model up and down by moving the controller head up and down. You can move the model left and right by moving the controller head left and right. You can zoom the model in and out by pushing the controller away or towards you. You can rotate the model on its Y axis by rotating the controller clockwise or counterclockwise. You can rotate the model on its X axis by tilting the controller forwards or backwards. You can rotate the model on its Z axis by tilting the controller left and right. Now with the combination of all the 6 inputs, you can move and rotate the model in any direction simultaneously. Let's jump into Cinema 4D now. I have a scene set up here and normally if I wanted to frame up the scene, I would traditionally either scroll in or use this gizmo to zoom in or using the combination of mouse and keyboard to get things in position. I just need to play around a lot to get the exact shot I want. To be super precise with your framing, it can be a bit tricky because the scroll wheel moves in large increments. It can be a little difficult if you are framing a macro shot. Also you cannot move and rotate simultaneously with your traditional mouse. Now I'll use the space mouse for the same. I'll zoom in and as you can see how much smoother, easier and faster it is to frame up my shot. And how precisely I'll get this exactly where I want it. I can easily try some different angles in very smooth and intuitive way. Not only that, I can use the shortcut buttons on the space mouse to go into different orthographic views easily. I can frame the whole scene, I can go to the right view and the top and the front. These shortcut buttons are customizable though, which I will show later in this video. I have been in touch with the folks at 3D Connections as I had two issues with the space mouse. One was that you could only use space mouse to navigate in the viewport but cannot actually move an object in the 3D space, which would help a lot in compositing scenes. But now they have resolved it in their latest release of the driver. I can assign the move object mode to one of my shortcut buttons in their app. Here I am changing the create my shortcut which is assigned to my left button of the space mouse to move object. Now if I had to move an object in my scene, normally I would press E on the keyboard to get the move tool or R for the rotate tool to move or rotate the object in my scene. But with the space mouse, all I need to do is press the shortcut button to switch to move object mode and then use the controller to move and rotate objects around the scene easily with precision. This feature has helped me a lot in speeding up my compositing workflow. The other issue was if we could record the movement of objects or camera in real time using the space mouse and built-in cappuccino in Cinema 4D. But that's still work in progress and I hope the team and 3D connections will fix that soon. But other than that, I really enjoyed working with space mouse as it has helped me a lot in speeding up my workflow. So if you are serious about 3D modeling, compositing and animation, I would strongly recommend to introduce the space mouse in your workflow.
and yeah if you like the video thumbs up and a sub to the channel would be great if you have any questions regarding the space mouse please leave a comment down below